You want to master the art of self-discipline and martial arts? Well, coming from martial artists, let's get on to it. First things first. One, I want you guys to hit that like and subscribe and of course share this with any of your friends who are also martial artists so I can give you my insight. For one thing, you will need to know that discipline goes farther, and I mean extremely farther, than motivation. Motivation can get you started, but discipline takes you farther. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying inspiration and motivation is not good. No, it is tremendously well. But discipline is what is fundamental for you. Here are some basic tips that I did to help me out through my martial arts training that will help you guys out through your training. One, always practice. That, that saying goes for practice, practice, practice. Yeah, uh, they mean it. Because when you practice this stuff, you have to make sure it's second nature. So that way you don't think about it when it comes to it. Bruce Lee said this, if you have to think about it, you're not training hard enough. So if you think about your punches, your kicks, your stances, your opponent is going to see you and he or she will definitely take advantage of the opportunity and you'll get slugged. Two, I would say go over every single technique, the stances, the pumses, the katas, whatever it is that you're practicing, even if it's kickboxing or anything else. I want you to go over that multiple times, like set a foundation, set a time for it. And a little fair warning, it will get boring. I'm not gonna lie to you, it will get boring. But you gotta stick through it because this is the part where it really matters. If you actually toughen it out, stay strong, don't falter, you'll be all right. Three, always ask for help. Literally, always ask for help. We know you're not perfect. We're not expecting perfection, we're expecting progression. For you to master the art of self-discipline, you have to understand that it's okay to find help. Whether it be from your senseis, your masters, your colleagues, heck, maybe one of the other students who are maybe around the same belt color as you will probably definitely know, this, know how to do certain techniques or styles or katas or pumseis just as better than you and they'll definitely help you. Nobody's above anybody, even though we have rankings, but that just lets you know where our knowledge is on the scale and don't let that intimidate you and don't think you can't ask for questions. It's always great to ask questions. Four, set up a workout routine. Let it be your daily routine for anything that you do before you start your day. It always helps out. Try to start off the whole day in a nice positive way and it helps you find the right mindset and stay upright, keep your head up. It's very, very healthy and you definitely love it. Trust me, I do it every single day. Every single day I always go over any technique I have practiced, any technique I've learned and it will definitely help out tremendously well in the long run, trust me. And five, finally five, have fun with it. Seriously, have fun with it. How I see it, and this is my opinion, if you don't believe it, then you don't have to take this last one, it's up to you. But how I see it is that if you find a way to make your training fun for you, it'll be easier for you to recognize it and memorize it and muscle memory will kick in. Just trust me, it will help out tremendously well with that because if you find time out of your busy schedule, out of your day, whether you're going to school, going to work, going out of town, if you find time to just to practice it, practice part of your katas and stuff like that and try to make, you know, have some fun with it, good. That means you're literally training your brain and your body and your muscles to actually incorporate it into your second nature, a lifestyle. Treat it like it's breathing. When you practice, you go over this whole thing. You just do it everything you can do. Don't think about it. Do not think about it. If you think about it, it will motivate yourself to not do it. Just go out there and do it and see how you feel later on. Trust me, you will not regret it. And that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and also want to see more videos like this in sight for another martial artist to you martial artists who need help, who need mental stability, need some um, motivation or some discipline tips that definitely help you guys out in your martial arts journey. Trust me, I'm here for you. Also check out my previous videos. I also have some tutorials up here too. I actually already have launched projects of other uh, cinematic martial art fight scenes. I even had like legit Andy Lay. I'm talking Andy Lay from Martial Club. Literally looking at my videos on Instagram. Dude is awesome. I'm trying to get to his level, I'm trying to practice and train just as much as he is doing and get to that level of stability. But you know, but, that, but that's, a, that's a different story. That's a different story. I'm excited for what, what God has planned for me. Share this with anybody that needs some insight on how to become a martial artist, train themselves in the art of self-discipline. And I hope you guys will definitely be successful. I pray for the best for you. Best of luck. Wish you the best of luck for you guys. Offer training, everything else. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.